After the recent historic, even legendary events, according to US President Donald Trump, at the inter-Korean border, should we go as far as South Korean President Moon Jae-in to suggest that hostilities with North Korea are over? Certainly, we have much to ponder. I'm Alex Jensen for North Korea Now. Moon was speaking at a cabinet meeting on Tuesday when he claimed last Sunday's actions by Trump and North Korean Chairman Kim Jong-un were tantamount to a de facto declaration of an end to hostile relations and the beginning of a full-fledged peace era. There's an interesting context here because what we didn't see achieved last year, despite much dialogue, was an official end to the Korean War. So, after decades, for a US president to step on North Korean soil for the first time, as Trump did wearing a suit rather than a military uniform or bulletproof vest, was an arresting moment. But does it count as ending the Korean War? Well, no document was signed, but Kim did say a hostile past has been transformed into a new present. Trump also said of the border area that it used to be very, very dangerous, but after their first summit, all of the danger went away, he claimed. But conventional wisdom would tell us those words are only as good as the process allows, that we need to see progress in terms of an actual peace agreement, and that seems to rely on the North's denuclearization. There is a clear split among analysts. Pessimistic critics are concerned that for all the dialogue since last year, it's still not clear that Washington and Pyongyang have agreed on a clear definition of denuclearization. Some doubt whether the North's regime will ever feel secure enough to denuclearize, and whether the US can trust Pyongyang enough to drop sanctions before the North's denuclearization is verified. It's also uncertain whether either side is willing to compromise. Amid reports that the US is considering a nuclear freeze agreement, Washington's State Department insisted Monday that they are not preparing any new proposals currently and that their goal remains the final, fully verified denuclearization of North Korea. But there is room for cautious optimism. Trump did say that he would like to take sanctions off the North, and he expects negotiation teams from both sides to start talking within this month. America's chief negotiator Stephen Began and President Trump have spoken of the possibility of simultaneous measures, which might just encourage the North. Plus, they're talking again. After four months passed since February's Trump-Kim summit in Hanoi ended abruptly without an agreement. For President Moon, what happened last Sunday was the result of amazing imagination, which was unthinkable in the existing diplomatic grammar, and that Trump's extraordinary proposal and Kim's bold response go beyond common sense. And it's in the unconventional that we now place our hopes.